And now to some very good news for one gentleman. And listen to this. When President Uhuru Kenyatta on Thursday launched the 1.9 billion shillings school furniture project in Umoja, 31-year-old Dean Achesa knew in advance that prominent people would visit his workstation, but he did not expect the head of state. The real work now begins for him and the artisans who will be selected alongside others to supply 650,000 locally assembled desks. Tonight, meet the entrepreneur who was tapped by the president as he shares his experience and what it will take to deliver the school furniture. In fact, the CS. I was just doing my work with Konyuma and then I don't know if it can be a race I'm a fit. So to come for care, put your corner at shop here too. Kafrai Sana, Matim Kubasano Kapujapa, Kasema. Today the Lord has visited. The 1.9 billion shilling school furniture project isn't just to equip secondary and primary schools, it is also part of the government's post-COVID-19 economic stimulus program aimed at boosting the Joa Kali sector. Dean is a mathematics and computer science graduate from the Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. He, like many other graduates, tarmac before opting to choose the path of entrepreneurship over employment. He has been working at the Nairobi School Furniture Workshop, a business that has been operational for more than 20 years, for the past three years. Forms were put on the, the interior website, right, and the education website. So I Kajaza, in the process of Kajaza, I make sure documents are sawa. His understanding of business, he says, was crucial for the bidding process or tendering. The site visits and collection of documents from his workshop by the government is an important step in the process. Though the tender has not yet been awarded and the terms of reference given on what his workshop should deliver, he tells us that if working at optimal conditions, 1,000 desk can be produced in a week with a close to 150 artisans engaged here. After the dust of the president's visit has settled, the real work now begins. But just like any other small business, there's always the possibility of running into a bottleneck. The question is, how can it be avoided? The money we had, we've already run out of it, but we are praying that, you know what, because the schools are supposed to be quick, at least we'll, we'll speed up, now we have to have some initial deposit, we have to produce volumes. Or else, all the young guys are going to and everybody will be stuck. The project, which covers all counties countrywide, continues to excite the Juakali sector. In Homer Bay County, more artisans have expressed their interest in supplying desks ahead of the reopening of schools. The Education Cabinet Secretary, Professor George Magoha, urged the county government to assist the artisans with tools to make them eligible to secure the tenders and deliver in good time. don't want one big company to make the desks and then take the money to the bank. We want this money to be spent by our children. I'm a poor to hapa. I'm a fika stare, I'm a fika alliance by producing something that is being used by those students. So I can scam on a funzo alliance, on a funzo stare, I'm a pata A. I'm a contribute because you're kitty alikalia. Focus on Gira Citizen TV, Nairobi.